In the last two lectures, we had discussion on delta to y and y to delta conversion for resistors. And now we are going to have discussion on delta to y and y to delta conversion for capacitors. And first we will revise the formulas which we have derived in the previous two lectures. Whenever we have the delta network of resistors, and for the simplicity of the network, we want to replace this delta network by the Y network. We use this set of formulas to calculate the unknown resistances of the Y network, which are R1, R2 and R3. Now in the opposite case, when we have the Y network of resistors and we want to replace it by the delta network of resistors, we use this set of formulas and in this case we calculate RA, RB and RC which are the resistors of the delta network. And now we will move on to the next case in which we have delta network of capacitors and we want to have the Y network of capacitors and to write down the formula directly we will refer this set of formulas and the only thing you have to do is to replace the resistance by 1 over capacitance that is R will be equal to 1 over C. For example here we have R1 therefore in place of R1 we will have 1 over C1. So to calculate C1 we will have the equation 1 over C1 equal to 1 over CA in place of RA 1 over CA multiplied to 1 over CB in place of RB then divided by 1 over CA plus 1 over CB plus 1 over CC following the same process 1 over C2 will be equal to 1 over CB multiplied to 1 over CC divided by 1 over CA plus 1 over CB plus 1 over CC and from here we can calculate C2 1 over C3 will be equal to 1 over CA multiplied to 1 over CC divided by 1 over CA plus 1 over CB plus 1 over CC so this is the set of formulas which we need to convert the delta network of capacitors to the Y network of capacitors and you now know how to write down these formulas. The derivation of the formulas are not important therefore you can simply remember these formulas and then you can have these formulas. The only thing you have to do is to replace resistance by 1 over capacitance and the same thing we will do in the case when we have Y network of capacitors and we need the delta network of capacitors but for this we will refer this set of formulas here we have 1 over CA in place of RA equal to 1 over C1 in place of R1 multiplied to 1 over C2 in place of R2. Similarly, we have 1 over C2 multiplied to 1 over C3 plus 1 over C3 multiplied to 1 over C1. And in the denominator, we have 1 over C2. So from here, we can calculate CA. Following the same process, we have 1 over CB equal to 1 over C1 multiplied to 1 over C2 plus 1 over C2 multiplied to 1 over C3 plus 1 over C3 multiplied to 1 over C1 and then divided by 1 over C3 and the final one in which we will calculate CC we have 1 over CC equal to 1 over C1 multiplied to 1 over C2 plus 1 over C2 multiplied to 1 over C3 
plus 1 over c3 multiplied to 1 over c1 and then divided by 1 over c1. So now we have the formulas to perform the conversion of delta to y and y to delta networks when we have the capacitors.